A student-led protest against Rutgers University's vaccination mandate was well attended by supporters from all over New Jersey. Rutgers University was the first college in the country to require that students be vaccinated before they return to campus. Welcome back to Jersey Matters and Ocean County Superintendent of Schools once the state mask mandate for schools lifted before graduation. And he wrote a letter to Governor Murphy to tell him that. Trianapolis Parlopanides is the superintendent of schools for the Central Regional District in Ocean County. Superintendent, thanks for making some time for us today. Uh, we're interviewing you about the letter that you sent to the governor. Why did you send it? Um, you know, I'd reviewed it with uh, my board of education and we all felt it was time. Uh, it was time for uh, the mask to go away. It's very difficult to breathe. Um, you know, I think the timing of it is right. And, uh, you know, we start, I don't think we'll be able to get it changed by the end of this year, but I would definitely want to start the new year in September as normal as possible. I think these kids have had two years of, you know, uh, horrible school year, you know, with, with everything that's been going on. So I really want the kids to come back in September and uh, have some normalcy in their life. So the letter was for next year because you said in the letter you would like the kids to be able to graduate without masks. Uh, I've, I've dealt with politicians, though, and I know they move at a snail's pace. So um, I would love to have it for graduation. Uh, but, I, you know, one thing I do know, it is an election year. So I think the more pressure Murphy gets, I think eventually he'll change it. But it won't be until maybe the summer or September unfortunately. So you wrote the letter asking for this year, knowing you wouldn't get this year? Well, you got to keep sending the letters and hopefully I'm hoping for a response. I haven't gotten a response from both Republican or Democrat. Uh, you know, I've written letters for all sorts of things. And, uh, you know, um, so just keep hounding them with letters. I would try to do the Andy Dufresne from uh, Shawshank Redemption, send two, three letters a week until eventually they'll write back to you or, you know, get you an answer. The other letters you wrote were about this as well? Um, I wrote several letters for um, uh, International, uh, which is some completely different. Uh, private schools are allowed four years of international students, public schools only one. So I've written to uh, both Republican and Dem Democratic congressmen, wrote the bill, talked to uh, Senator Alexander, who was the chairman of the Education Committee in Washington, and got nothing. So even sent letters to Menendez and Booker. So both Republican and Democrat uh, have been useless. Are, are much of the letters, so you can say to parents here, look, I'm doing something, I'm on your side, I want this to change, but uh, it's not me, it's them? It, it, it's them, like I have no power. And that's when uh, it, the, the group that came to us was a very nice group of, of uh, parents is unmask uh, their kids, unmask the, the children and a very nice group. And I say, guys, coming to the school board, the school board doesn't have the authority to do that. You need to go to trend to the governor or the State Board of Ed, and if they get enough pressure, because I've, I've testified at the State Board of Ed, on uh, we had dissolution, we had a couple other issues, school choice, and uh, it really worked out well. The State Board of Ed was fantastic. They listened to us, and they made the, the changes that were, you know, beneficial for kids. So I just want to make sure they had the right avenue in which to pursue this so we pursue it properly and we get the change we want. It has been fascinating to me that it seems like, well, I guess I shouldn't be fascinating because everything is political these days, but that, that masks have become political. And so that begs the question, do all parents feel this way or is there a group that want masks? Um, I, th I think there's uh, obviously there's some groups that want masks just because everybody has their own situation, whether they're with the elderly or they don't believe in vaccines or so forth. So um, I think it's a combination. Um, I've been looking what's going on in Texas and Florida where they don't have masks. I even was looking at Australia because they were kind of ahead of us when it was our winter was their summer. And then they started school ahead of us to see how their school year went um, during COVID. So I did read a lot of Australian newspapers and uh, educational journal journals to see how they handled everything. Um, so obviously, I, I think you can definitely go without the masks. Um, there might be one or two people that want to wear the mask. I think you should have the choice. I don't think it should be a mandate. I think that's what makes America great. You have choices. And uh, I think New Jerseyans are smart enough to, uh, you know, I don't think we ever should have shut down. Uh, a lot of people lost business livelihoods. Um, I think we're smart enough to keep distance and do the right thing and, and stay safe like Texas and 
Florida and all the other states that remained open. You can't just say at your school, we're not going to wear masks tomorrow in, in, in protest to the governor. Uh, I can't do that just because it seems like the governor is very vindictive. When the gym owners opened up the gym, he locked them up, fines. I don't want to hurt my kids by getting state aid cut or something that the governor might do to penalize us. So we're urging him and I'm urging people to do it the right way by asking the governor, go to the state board of ed, and then hopefully we'll get the change we need. Do you think that people are going to go to Trenton or go to the state board of ed? Uh, I, I really do. I, I believe so. I think uh, the parents that I've talked to have been very passionate about it and um, are really fighting for their kids. And, you know, so I, I think they will. Um, and of course, like I said, with the election year coming up, I know he's in bed with NJEA, but there's one teacher that's two votes compared to 20 students in a class. That's 40 votes. So they have the votes to, you know, if he doesn't make change, I'm sure, you know, he can get voted out. What do the parents tell you that their kids are saying to them? Or what do, they, do you hear the kids say yourself? Um, especially with, with the younger kids, it's very difficult to breathe. It's uncomfortable. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's been studies about CO2 for the elementary school kids. Uh, the reason why kids would feel very sluggish after lunch wasn't because they had gym, is that there was an elevated, elevated CO2 in the classroom. And being that the kids are shorter, there's less oxygen. So there's, there's studies on all this material showing that, you know, having masks is very detrimental for, um, for the kids getting oxygen. The best way to get oxygen to the brain is water. So kids need to drink water. And, you know, and obviously if they can't breathe, they're, they're not breathing in the oxygen that way. On June 30th, uh, as I understand right now, all of the governor's executive orders will be lifted except 12. The legislature will push them through. Is it your understanding that on June 30th, the mandate, the executive order 175, the one you're asking to be lifted, will be lifted? Uh, I don't. I heard that executive order 175 is going through until December 30th. So I believe he has the masks until December 30th. For schools. For or, schools. Or for yep. For everybody else won't have to do it, but schools will have um schools will have to have it until December thirtieth. Okay. As of well, now. Uh, I hope you at least get an answer to your letter, sir. I I, I think at least you were uh, on the side of the parents that don't want to wear the mask and the side of the kids that don't want to wear the mask. And I find it interesting that you say if you want to, you can just go ahead and wear it. So uh, we'll see what happens in September. Yep, absolutely. So thanks for your time. Trianapolis, Parla Panides, Superintendent of Schools for the Central Regional District in Ocean County. Next on Jersey Matters. Surf's Up at the Jersey Shore will tell you what you can expect for the upcoming summer season. Coming up next on Jersey Matters. <music>